It is very squeaky chair. Need to WD-40 this thing. Hello! And welcome to VisibleTour.com. I am Jared Hoyman and I am super excited to go over this awesome software that I've never used before until just a week ago called Luminar 4. It is the best software I have ever used for real estate photography editing and any kind of architectural photography. And I'll tell you this, the only reason I bought this software was for the sky replacement. I was absolutely sick and tired of editing in Photoshop and Photoshopping sky in on cloudy days and it, it, was, it was just absurd. As a professional real estate photographer, I am in 80 to 100 houses a month. That's a lot of houses, that's a lot of editing. And a lot of those are video and photo, um, and then I'm doing the drone aerial as well. But I have all these clients that want it done, and I live in Wisconsin, so the weather is absolutely horrid the majority of the time. So it might be raining, it might be snowing, it might be wet, it might be cloudy. Um, to get a beautiful blue, wonderful sky, an awesome day is not common at all. So I end up spending hours and hours every week Photoshopping blue sky in. Literally going into Photoshop, finding blue sky that I have taken in the past, overlaying it, going through this tedious process. But guess what? That is no longer the case because Luminar 4 has absolutely changed my workflow and changed my life in a wonderful, positive way. And I just wanna let you know that um, although I do work with Luminar in the sense that I do get credit if you use the link below to go purchase the software. I purchased the software myself. They did not give it to me for free, even though that would have been nice Luminar if you would have given me that software for free. Um, but no, I actually paid for it because I thought, well, what do I have to lose? And guess what? I love it. I absolutely love the software. It's amazing. Um, am I gonna skip out and not use Lightroom anymore? No. I'm gonna keep using Lightroom. Will I use Photoshop? Uh, sometimes, but not as often as I have been. Uh, this is awesome software to go along with Lightroom. Lightroom, I feel, has an awesome workflow with working with the shadows and the curves and everything, but Luminar just brings it to the next level. It's like almost, almost eliminating, almost eliminating Photoshop. And uh, we'll, we'll get there. But the only reason I bought it was just for the sky replacement, but I've been floored on so many other aspects. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing the last few days working with the sky replacement. And uh, it, do I know everything about Luminar? No, I don't. Uh, but I'm willing for you guys to leave your feedback below. If you've been working with Luminar before um, and you have some feedback to give me some better workflow. So if you hear the squeaking, it's the chair, but uh, let's, let's get into it right now. I'm gonna get right into, let's just go right there. Here, let's go check it out. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the workflow that I've been using. Okay, we are inside of Luminar, the app right now. Uh, these photos, I actually took them just this morning, so it is new, and this isn't a fancy, beautiful house, um, but nevertheless, it's a house that cultivates business and brings me in money, so I took photos of it. Um, this photo is actually the final edit um, through Lightroom, so this is actually HDR setting, um, another one, uh, that was taken a little closer up is also HDR and as you can see you can see more details inside of here the original photo um, was more shadowy darker uh, it's pouring rain you can't tell uh, typically in a photo you can't tell it's raining outside in snow you can uh, but here you can't tell it's raining you just know that the pavement's wet so this looks you know eh, it's okay but people want blue sky when they're looking for homes. It gives it a more happier vibe. So here, the easiest and quickest way to do that through Luminar 4 is right on the side panel here. Um, here's the essentials, and that's where you do temperature, contrast, highlights, shadows, stuff like that. Um, what I do is I go right into the creative tab here. Uh, 
right under sky replacement and all you have to do is click and these are all your choices uh, you can load custom ones I have shot my own um, and I will actually be selling them uh, eventually um, for a pretty reasonable price um, but these are the ones that come with luminar and you can add others as well um, so for example let's just say blue sky 3 what does that look like Boom, it just gave clouds. Clouds with some blue sky. Um, and then if you hit the eye right up here, you can see what that did. Now, the sky will reflect onto the, um, the main photo to make it more realistic. So it's got that bluer tint, so it reflects down. It also makes it a little bit darker, which I don't technically, or yeah, technically I guess is the word, but I don't like it as much. Um, so I like to, if you go here, you can change the exposure. That's one way to make it brighter. You can make it cooler. Um, the sky, um, probably bring it right about there, but then the world, we'll call this the world, the world that you shot originally is still looking a little bit darker because look at the original and then it gets a little bit darker. And so one way to fix that is if you go back to the essentials, and you go to exposure and um, first of all let's bring highlights so highlights will brighten it up a little bit um, we will do a little smart contrast and then exposure of course will always uh will always bring it kind of a brighter look so now it really it didn't get any darker um, but then it showed uh, the reflection of the clouds and the blue sky. Now, the other thing is that you can do a Luminar 4 here, and you probably could have done it in 3, 2, 1 in the beta, but I've never used those. This is my first time. And if you know a quicker way, let me know. But there is a sun option. So you can use sun rays, and you can put a sun up here. But you know what? Um, I've done it a few times where you put the sun up, and say we just want the sun to come through right here into the sky and we'll hit uh, four and penetration. Yes, it is a weird name to say penetration. Um, but you do that and here we can actually have it penetrate a little more and then maybe a little brighter there or maybe right there, it's just coming in right there. Um, we'll get rid of that. So you can see that the sun is there and maybe we'd actually move the sun you know, maybe off to the side here um, a little bit. There we go. So maybe maybe that's where the sun is because it's a little bright here. And then you can make it that way. Um, another thing you can do with the sun rays, you do have to create another um, layer. So you go right up to layers here, hit the plus, go to add new adjustment layer. And then what you'll do is you'll go back into creative, place sun, um, let's see if make sure it's actually working. There we go. Uh, and then it shows up here again. And for example, and just kind of give you where I'm heading with this one. If I don't turn on a light and it's not on, I'm always like, oh darn, it would re look really good. Well, this one, I forgot to turn the lights on. There's lights on inside the house, but I forgot to turn the outside light on. So what you can do is you can bring it right over on top of it. Then we'll put it to about a two. Now that's really ugly and doesn't look realistic. It's really bright. So what I would do then is I would, um, first of all, the sun rays, I would probably bring them down a little bit. Um, the number of rays, bring it down. Uh, the radius I will bring down, but here's the thing. We'll bring penetration. Yep, I'm using that word again, penetration. Uh, to that. Now that looks really bad. I mean, it looks like the sun just landed on the house. But what you'll do is you'll take the radius and you'll start shrinking that down. And then um, here, let's go make sure I'm actually on the light. So it looks like it's pretty close to the light. What we'll do now is we'll actually take the penetration. Yes, penetration. I'm using that word again. We'll take that down. And what that means is it's what's coming through the photo. So we'll make it a little bit more transparent. So now we're taking it down and now it kind of looks like, in here, let's bring the 
brightness up, penetration in there. And now it kind of has that more realistic look. And I'm gonna bring the glow down. And actually I'm gonna bring that up and the radius down. So if we zoom in, it, you can see the black lining there. Um, and so it looks like it's actually coming right from the light source there too. And so now we got a sun source here, a light on right there, and it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, you can add lights anywhere, even where there's not real lights, which then brings me to the other case. So we just did sky replacement uh, to bring in blue sky. Can you turn a daytime photo into a nighttime photo? And I gotta tell you, it's the easiest thing ever. Uh, let's go to, let's just hit galaxy one. So it just did this and that could be the moon. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll call that the moon and not the, not the sun. Uh, but we'll say, I mean, this is very unrealistic. It's, it's kind of fantastical and cool looking, but it really isn't realistic. So let's see what Galaxy 2 looks like. Uh, a little bit better. And then Starry Night 1. Yeah. yeah Starry Night 2. All right, well, let's just do that. That's super fantastical. You got the Milky Way here and the Aurora Borealis and the shooting star. And all you need is an alien coming down and then that would be final. But okay, let's do this. So this is obviously really bright and unrealistic here. So what I would do is um, let's bring the sky down and be a little bit darker. Then let's go over here and bring exposure down and do that. And I mean, that looks more realistic, not counting how perfect the sky is. Okay, so we had to penetrate. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. We have to penetrate this beast uh, right there. So let's do this and we'll bring it down a little bit and let's bring the radius uh, well, maybe we'll just do that so let's zoom in there see what that looks like so yeah i mean that looks if it's a bright night that's what it looks like and that could be the moon coming right through the uh, trees so look at this photo just stare at this photo if you didn't know better, would you think this was a night shot? Because then here is the original. The original, night shot. Original, night shot. I have clients nonstop telling me, Jared, can you go out and get some night shots of the house? And then I charge them a fortune because it's my time and I have to go at night to do it and then I have to re-edit all those where just in a matter of five minutes or less, I can come in here and just take an existing one and make it into a night shot. If you wanted to add on another light, all you have to do is just go right into um, layers. Um, we'll add another layer. Um, and we will go to the creative tab. We will place the sun. And let's just say if there's a light here, there might be a light right there. And we'll put it to about a two. We'll bring it up to about 90. We'll bring the radius down. And um, bring the rays down. Glowing. Uh, let's see what that looks like over there. So I mean, I mean, if anything here, we'll bring it up a little more, be more even. Yeah, so I mean, look at that. I don't know if there is even a light over there. I didn't even check it out, but uh, not, not bad. I guess we could probably take the, uh, the glow down and probably the, there we go, faint it out. Yeah, so there you go. There's not even a light there and I just made it look like a light was there. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> this software, and I'm just touching uh, tip of the iceberg with it. I really don't know any of the other stuff. I just know the sky replacement, dabbling a little bit with the layers, 
Uh, I'm sure there's more, and as I figure it out, I will let you know. But if you are one that does sky replacement like I do for a living, I need to do this for a lot of my photos, I promise my people rain or shine, it is gonna be a sunny sky, then this is the software to use. It is easy. Um, right now, anybody that clicks on the link below will get $10 off the software. If you like this content, please subscribe. If you wanna see more videos on Luminar 4 or photo editing in general, let me know. This is what I do for a living. I'm in about 80 to 100 houses a month. So, till next time, Jared Hoyman with VisibleTour.com and you have a wonderful day. Penetration. <laughs>